Okay, I've made the sample page to showcase uh, an issue I'm running into when I try to drag large images in Firefox. Um, here's an example of a, a, of a div that's draggable. Uh, the problem is, is that the, the ghost image that Firefox renders is sometimes the, the wrong size, and here are the circumstances. If I drag this image right here, you can see that the ghost image is exactly the same height and width as the source image. However, if I take this image and I make it really tall and then try to drag it, notice how the ghost image is way shorter. It's not the size. Now when you're in a situation where you're dropping this right here to an absolute position on the screen, where do you drop it in order to line it up with here or there? The problem is, is when you drop it, you, it doesn't, uh, it's not clear to the user where it's going to actually line up. Also, if you take the same rectangle and you make it wide and do the same thing and try to drag it, the ghost image is much smaller than the source image. Same issue occurs when you're trying to drag and drop this to an absolute position on the screen. Now if we go look at the same, uh, and by the way we're in uh, Firefox uh, 62 here. If we go do the, to the same page in Chromium and um, there's another bug I reported to Chromium about how far, how small their resize thing is at the bottom. Same thing if you drag it, same size on this initial small size. However, if you drag it to be much, much, much wider, and then try to pull, uh, I mean, you resize it to be wider, and then you go down. Look, the source image and the ghost image are exactly the same size. Also in Chromium, if we make the image. If I can grab this little bitty thing on this 4K monitor and we make it tall and we drag it over to the right, you can see the ghost image is exactly the same size as the source div. And this makes it really easy when you're actually dropping it to an absolute position on the screen because it, when you drop it, it will be exactly the way the, the ghost image renders uh, at that position. It will drop exactly there. And... Um, this um, this resizing upon dragging a ghost image is problematic in this circumstance where you're actually trying to drop it to an absolute position in the page. It makes the user have to make multiple attempts before it align, aligns up exactly where they want it to. So that's all.